We're back in it up, back in it up downtown. Space and smash, we have smash, and I'm homebound. And away we go to the gym. To, uh, yeah, a bit of a change to my programming a bit. Um, so, my coach had this idea of making me train three days in a week instead of four. And, you know, in this session, it's going to be, a, you know, you know, a good amount of stuff, as well as some cardio. So I'm going to be, like, training cardio as well. Um, I'll take up, don't, you know, I'm not driving it on my phone. It's, you're crazy. <laughs> um, belt squats, then log, clean and press, and then incline dumbbell bench press, lat pull downs, leg extensions, and then a salt bike with some intervals and stuff, some fun stuff, and then, uh, and then I shall tell you, um, yeah, that's the final one, a soft bike with, with intervals and sprints and, you know, whoa, what the fuck, um, there's a car there where, where with a, like a horse, no, not a horses, but a a ram's head. It was a Dodge Ram and it had a ram's head on the front, like an actual one. That was a bit creepy. <sighs> wow, it's nine degrees outside Celsius. That's pretty hot for this this sheer land of ice. But uh, yeah, I also, I don't know if you guys are into anime. I talk about anime every now and then here. Um, yeah, just finished um, Neon Genesis Evangelon and then what's the the end of Evangelon the movie like well it's a movie it's sort of two shows that are 45 minutes each two episodes and it's in the same style as you know the series and everything you know it's it's great and man oh man man oh man what on I don't know it just makes you think it has a lot of Freudism, um, you know, psychoanalysis, and it's, you know, I don't know, makes me, when I was watching, you know, wonder the same things, you know, a lot of, you know, asking the main character, why does he do what he do, why does he pilot the, the Eva, and why does he, you know, do this and that, and I was like, thinking, why do I do strongman, you know, and in the show, like, he was piloting the Eva to get the praise of others, and, you know, because that made him feel good, so it was selfish, really. And like, I was like, do, why do I do strongman? Is it because I want praise from people, because I want respect? Is it because it's the only thing I know that it can get me that? And, you know, it's the only thing that I've ever felt that I was good at. And, yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting stuff. You know, deep down, why? You know, ask yourself, why? And, you know, you can always say, like, I just want to be stronger, or I want to inspire people, or I want to entertain people, or, you know, or I just like getting stronger. But really, really, deep, deep down, what is the reason? Like, because we're social creatures, and we like to be with other people, and, you know, we like to feel validated and, you know, have the right to be where we are and you know all sorts of stuff like that so yeah makes you wonder makes you wonder why do I like entertaining people why do I make these YouTube videos and document everything is it because I crave the praise of others it might be it might be if we're being brutally honest you know I, I won't say no to it like if that's deep down but I also love making people feel good I love motivating I love entertaining I love making people laugh and you know uh, but why do I love that is it because it makes me feel validated and the right feel like I have the right to exist in a way because I please others and get the approval of others interesting stuff very interesting stuff but yeah, <laughs> uh, looking forward to this exercise, to this workout. Hope I will continue to feel better. Um, 
back has been feeling well, back has been feeling just you know as always but uh the nerve pain and everything leading down my leg has just been getting better and better and better as well i feel like the uh, rotator cuff thing so um it's not like the rotator cuff thing if i'm also being honest there it's not 100 percent you know i can sometimes feel it when i'm doing you know this sort of thing i can feel a tiny bit just discomfort um yeah so we'll see but i felt like i can feel less in the overhead press and today i'm doing log it's only 62 kilograms i think for five sets of two so we'll see how things will go but yeah i'm gonna start with a like not not the full andrew lock routine just a an impartial kind of um, and then with the belt squats, it's not heavy, it's, but it's high reps. <sighs> yeah, going to Thor's Power Gym. Wonder who will be there. Don't think many. It's a Sunday. And it's, the clock is, the time is 1.45. But back to uh, Evangelon. If I were to give the thing a rating, I think I would honestly give it 10 out of 10. I can't find a single thing that I didn't like or flaw, you know. I like Dragon Ball more, even though I wouldn't give it the same rating. I, I wouldn't give Dragon Ball a 10 out of 10. It has flaws, definitely. But I enjoyed more. But there was nothing I didn't dislike about this one. So it's interesting how, you know, just because you have a higher score doesn't mean it's better. <laughs> uh, but man, like, I, I want to keep reading and I want to keep learning more and possibly just re-watching it, you know, because uh, there's so many things in the end that sort of like, whoa, you know, and I had to read after I watched everything just to sort of grasp everything that went on with, I don't want to say any spoilers, but there's, you know, Lilith and Adam and what they are and what, what yeah, couldn't really... 100% understand it. Hmm, yeah. By the way, I watch all anime in Japanese. I, I have a hard time watching it in English. English, some I do, like especially if I'm watching with others. But I prefer to watch it in Japanese with uh, subtitles. But uh, I can watch it in English. Like that's no problem. I just find it sometimes especially after watching Japanese for a long time then going back to English and they're like just all these sort of oh 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 no oh that's impossible oh how can his power oh, be bigger than mine oh 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 <laughs> you get what I'm saying <laughs> yeah well I'll see you guys in the gym <sighs> all right first exercise Belt squats, just 100 kilograms, less than before, for three sets of 10 reps. Starting it off with this, just getting very, very familiar with this equipment. Feels good, but uh, I gotta say, I'm scared. I'm just constantly scared with doing something with the lower back now. It's, uh, I, uh, yeah. Don't know if I'm being cautious or overly cautious. Maybe there's no such thing as being overly cautious right now, but I don't know. It's just constantly plaguing my mind. I think it's gonna take some time to build up confidence and faith that it, it won't happen again. 
maybe. All right. Second set. Uh, listening to Sankai Power, the first ending in Dragon Ball Z song. not feeling the pinching sensation in the glute but then again I'm feeling the most amount of pump in my quads um, yeah all right I'll just I'm not gonna film the next set I'll just jump straight into a walk for you guys all right guys first log log press I do since the incident, the accident, the mishap, the herniated disc. Um, I'll, I'll admit, I feel a bit strange in my left leg because when I was tying my shoes, I started feeling like a tiny bit of nerve pain. And after I finished tying my shoes, I feel a bit like numb in my leg. Probably not a good sign, but uh, yeah. I've already cleaned this a few times, 60, 60, this is 62 kilograms. I'm only supposed to do 62 kilograms for five sets of two. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to go full gear or not. Like I just, I mean, this is how I do it when I go heavy. So I assume I'm sure this is a working set. Treat it like, you know, treat it the same, but uh, definitely not needed. I'm not sure if I just short press it or push press thing or push press I'm just I'm just gonna try to treat it like every other um, you know heavy weight if you catch my meaning All right but let's Feels like not really anything, but you know, just getting used to the moment. And you know, feeling this numbness on the bottom of my foot. It's a bit um, eerie, but easy, easy stuff. Don't my rotator cuff feels nothing. Everything's pretty good. Let's do a few more sets of these. I'll film every other set. Third set, but well, I forgot I was uh, using the uh, wrong bag. Down to the last set. 
that's uh, it's been really fun doing some log again. Just doing some overhead pressing. It's been a long, long time. I feel like my shoulders have gone down in size. <laughs> and who doesn't hate that? And since, well, I'll tell you about that later. Wait, let's put this. And that will be the ending and the uh, successful log, first log press um, workout <laughs> exercise since the injury. Good stuff. All right, next exercise. Incline dumbbell bench press. 30, I think this is 31 kilograms, 70 pounds, and uh, 12 reps. Been doing some warm ups with a, in the incline press, and it doesn't hurt my uh, rotator cuff like at all, almost, you know, compared to just a normal bench. So I think if you like the overhead and incline, just doesn't like put us any. And you were close as much discomfort as the bench does, which I wonder why is. You know, just hmm. kind of got to go to school to learn the muscle anatomy better and how things work. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let's go. Good shit, wow, that felt great. Good, good to get some actual pressing in, even though it's not heavy at all. But uh, yeah, a few more sets of these. <sighs> Recovery. <sighs> all right. <sighs> Second set. Let's go. Good set. Another successful set. You know, I wouldn't say I don't feel anything, but it's just a tiny bit of discomfort. And I think, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, I'm getting blood flow to the area and I think it'll be a good thing. Um, yeah, not pain in any way. And third set, the final set. And we're still continuing this um, workout of listening to Dragable music. <laughs> now listen to the power to resist. Wow, 
There we go. Finito. Listo. El último. Set. Yeah. Okay. I think I have next lat pull downs or some stuff like that. All right, lat pull downs. I kind of wanted to mix things up and have a neutral grip instead of a. And, well, guys, if you ever don't remember what's a supinated grip and a pronated grip, supinated is with the soup. You hold your hands like this, like you're holding a soup, supinated. And then pro is a neutral, pro neutral soup, supinated. All right, it's uh, four sets of 10 reps with just, uh, I think I have 200 pounds here. Try to be a little bit more forward. It's a little easy. Like I'm going pretty. Yeah, oh no, I had 190. Okay. Put it into 200 pounds, which is most of this equipment is from Rogue. And since Rogue is a, a program. A company from the US and A is usually in pounds. This is 90.9 kilograms. This is like, this is pounds. The things in the equipment hall, pounds. The dumbbells, pounds. Fucking A. Let's go. 10 reps again. Not to fail you, not by any means, but good blood flow, good blood flow. All right, guys, last set of the pull downs. Let's go. Oh, this microphone's pushing into my neck. Here we go. There we go. Next thing. Let's go. Boy. I hope you enjoy the booty sweat stains. But uh, boy, there's nothing quite like the feeling of a, okay. The feeling of a low, like a pump from doing lap pull downs. Like I'm just, feel so nice and healthy for the shoulders and everything to have a good pump. But now I'm going for leg extensions. This is kind of the last sort of um, weightlifting, uh, <coughs> weightlifting, uh, lifting. I can't even talk. <laughs> All the blood's just somewhere else in my brain. Lifting exercise. Next is the assault bike. Fuck, I hadn't even thought about that, but that's gonna be fun. But here's just 12 to 15 reps. Oh, okay. In the leg extensions. <coughs> wow, what, why does it feel so weird? I can't literally like... Why can't I flex my legs higher than this? I'm gonna try putting the back a little bit. Just further back. There we go. <coughs> 
Wow. Okay, 12 to 15 reps. It's gonna get a tiny bit heavier. But like without any weight, how far can I go? Okay, here. So I feel like I should be able to go there. But I don't think I can. Okay. And I can feel my quads very well. So, Peter. Peter. Yuri. Vim. Six. Yeah. Alta. Yeah. Dear. Adler. Dolph. Rathom. Burton. Vinton. Whew. Oh, yeah. And it just told me to. I just had to go for a good pump. Nothing, you know, crazy. No failure and stuff. So, so different from bodybuilding. Because I see these bodybuilders, coaches on Instagram, like complaining that like, if you don't go to failure, then you're not, not doing anything at all. You're a worthless piece of shit. And like, you should die if you don't go to failure. Like almost there. And this is like, not everybody's a bodybuilder. But, uh, but it, they don't specify it's for bodybuilding. They just, but I mean, if it's a bodybuilder coach, then I guess. But still, it's just like, you know, if you're gonna be a strong man, you go to failure with everything, you're gonna hurt yourself immediately. Well, not immediately, but, um, you know, it's kind of probably gonna be a pretty bad injury. But then again, I injured myself as well, and I wasn't going to failure all the time, so maybe it's inevitable. <laughs> Um, yeah, but let's keep going. I think it's for three sets of this, then the assault bike. All right, second set. <clears throat> oh. Let's go. It. to increase the weight just a little bit for the next set. Oh. Oh. oh, you can barely see my face. <laughs> to increase the weight, but two plates. Oh. <laughs> okay, last set. Shit. Let's go do some cardio, some assault bike. Whoop whoop. All right, guys, we are on the assault bike. The mic's on, yes. Um, 20 sec seconds on, 40 seconds off. Don't go all out here, just use about 60 to 70 percent. But it doesn't say how for how long. Hmm. So for ten, show for ten. Oh, it says here ten rounds. <laughs> All right. There we go. Sixty-five to seventy-five percent. Let's say that's it. I don't know 
if it means off, off, or just taking it easy. I'm assuming it means taking it easy. Like just going through the motions. Let's make sure. Okay. I think so. But uh, I suppose we could just do the car talk here when I'm uh, taking it easy. Hope the audio's okay. Okay. I, uh, yeah, successful training session. Can't really complain. It's, uh, yeah. All in all, felt good. And it's a sunny day. Kind of want to go to the pool, but I also have to go to the uh, garbage dump after this. And, oh, one thing I could talk about with my nutrition coach. Uh, just checked everything and I suppose uh, I need to go back in five seconds. Okay, three, two, one. Okay. I uh yeah, I just I haven't checked the nutrition program in a while, but I, I decided to check now for some reason. And I saw that for the rice, chicken, um, almond butter, and honey meal, and with olive oil, it's supposed to be 350 grams of rice uncooked. And then it's, I'm gonna change one meal into a uh, tortilla meal or a wrap. And that one has 190 grams of uncooked rice. And then if we check another meal, that's 60 grams of uncooked rice, uncooked rice for a total of 600 grams of uncooked rice. That's almost, that's more than half a kilo of uncooked rice a day. Oh shit. I got myself. There we go. Yeah, that was a whole lot of a whole lot of rice, and I cooked it this morning when I meal prepped. It's a fucking a lot of rice, but I can get it down. Um, you know, if the workouts keep going well, I'll increase the nutrition more and more, and uh, yeah, get to what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, you know, in a, in a normal prep. <sighs> okay. So yeah, that's fun. Because, you know, on the program, it says I'm supposed to be eating 7,251 calories, but I haven't been eating that obviously because I'm injured. It doesn't make sense to me to be pushing the nutrition so hard when I'm not really working out that much or you know getting to a point where I'm growing muscles or growing my strength. It's just a rehab, and I think it's more it's a toll on the body actually to be in a surplus, you know. So, don't want to be putting too much, you know that sort of strain on my nervous system. Ooh. There we go. We're five minutes in. And uh, 
So yeah, I'm looking forward to the point where I get to a, a place where I'm healthy enough to be eating those, all those calories, gaining weight. And uh, yeah, because you know, in a good prep for a competition, I would like to be competing at around 168 cal, cal, kilos, 168 kilos, kilograms, body weight. Um, so maybe for highest and strongest man or something, we'll see. Or Champions League if we get there. We're six minutes in, four sets to go. <sighs> you know, you just feel good training cardio, just all around well-being afterwards, like the runner's high. I don't know if you haven't, have ever ran before, but I used to, I was running before trying to, because I was gonna try to go into the police academy and uh, I had to be running a lot and uh, the runner's high is a real thing. You would feel just almost like you were high after a good run. It's great. Seven rounds. Uh, yeah. So cardio is good. I like that it's on the program. I like doing stuff like this. And you gotta tell yourself that you like it. You know, if you're gonna approach this with a negative mindset from the get-go, you're not gonna enjoy it at all. Try and get some oxygen my body Eight minutes and 20 seconds. Good shit. Am I cheating by taking my hands off? Am I supposed to be here? But it says off. So I assume that's just off. But it's doing a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a CrossFitter. I think I'm also going to be doing some ski machine stuff. All right. Just taking it easy now. We're finished with all the rounds. You no, know, it's supposed to be just, I mean, 10 rounds when we started at zero, working on self them, and now it's 9.30, so all that's left is just this easy stuff until we hit 10 minutes. <sighs> all right, guys, that's going to be it for today. It's been a good session. Happy with it. A lot of movement, a lot of blood flow, good recovery. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and uh, getting closer to your goals. 10 minutes. Oh, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.